Hi, it's Luciano LaRue. I play Javi and Yellow Jackets, and you're watching Pop Culture with Pat. Buzz, buzz. Welcome back to Pop Culture at Pat. So today I am talking to a special guest joining the show, Luciano LaRue, who plays Javi on Yellow Jackets. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, man. Of course, no problem. My pleasure. So before we we jump into all things Yellow Jackets and just by by the way, guys, I mean, if you haven't seen it, I don't know why you'd be here, but just this is going to have spoilers for Yellow Jackets season two. So just a heads up. Uh, But before we get into kind of deep into spoiler territory, I just wanted to to ask you, Luciano, as far as what was it that kind of just like made you want to be an actor in the first place? And how did you get started? I think um, really, I mean, the obvious answer is like, you know, like the cameras, the lights, all that stuff. it's, It's really great. But to be honest, just I've always like as a kid, I've really wanted to like entertain people, my family in general. And uh, just people, I don't know, I get a lot of joy from making people laugh and making people feel emotions to characters and uh, being able to do that as a career and being able to get paid because of that is it's great. Doing something that I love and I wish to take that further and when I grow up, and I can do that for my life. Yeah, so you just love being, being a storyteller. I gotcha. So as far as now, as far as Yellow Jackets go, so you got cast on the show, you know, you're in season one. How, what was your audition process like for Yellow Jackets? And I'm curious, did you audition for anybody else besides Javi? Because I know sometimes people will audition for multiple characters in the show. So what was that audition like? And did you audition for anybody else? Yeah, so I got a self-tape. I got a self-tape and I did it. It was Javi like screaming, dad, 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 when his dad died in the forest. Yeah, I think that was, uh, it was that and I had one more scene. It was a scene where uh, Travis, my brother, kind of like beats me up a little bit and takes my gum and throws it I had that scene and also had the scene where I was screaming for dad. So I had those two scenes. I did them. And it's funny because I didn't hear back for like a couple months. Then out of, out of nowhere, I just heard, Hey, uh, are you available? And I was like, yeah, of course. And here we are. There you go. And yeah. So did you, was it always, you were always going for hobby. There wasn't any other characters you were auditioning for. No, just hobby all the time. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Cause I know sometimes, like I said, I've had other characters, um, talking to Maya, I believed she auditioned for, I thought she said, uh, Mari, I believe like at one point. So it's like, it's interesting how sometimes, you know, you guys will go out for, for different roles and end up getting like a different character. So man, yeah, and it's not yeah. too rare that, you know, you audition for something and the, the casting directors think that you might be a better fit for a different role. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's, it's really, you know, it's just the business and, as as long as you get the role, you know it's it's good, you know. Yeah, hey man, you're you're on the show, and it's 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 mm-hmm. become one of my favorite shows that's on TV right now. So, what a ride season two was for you, man. I mean, we we finally get Javi back in a couple episodes into the season, and then we end up losing him by the end of the season. So it's like talking about going from kind of like one extreme to the next. When, like, when did you find out? Like, I, I always kind of had the the thought that we were gonna get Hobby back at some point. When did you find out that you were actually coming back? Uh, I found out actually. I come back in episode two, not in episode one. So I didn't find out until a little bit later on. I think they already finished um, filming like halfway through episode one, and then I found out. I was like, oh, nice, because you know, I was a bit of a surprise, and I was super happy. I was waiting a little bit. Yeah, so I found out about that, and then I did a scene that got cut, but I did that in episode two, and then in episode four, I come back, which is a little bit later on. Yeah, so that's so that's kind of interesting. You didn't even, so you were kind of left hanging. You didn't even know by the end of, you know, once season one was done, you didn't, you hadn't heard anything that yeah, you were I coming back. Yeah, I knew just as much as the fans did, honestly, because character disappeared, and then I was left, you know. Yeah, you're just like, well, I guess we'll, we'll see if I, I come back or not. So yeah. I mean, glad that, you know, you got to come back. It was nice to see you back. Um, and then when when did you find out that Javi was being killed off? And kind of what was your reaction to that? I imagine you're probably kind of shocked just because you had just been brought back. So what was that reaction like? You know, I got a call from uh, Ashley Bart and, and uh, yeah, all those people. And they were telling me that, you know, Javi dies, like just straight up. And I was like, well, I didn't, you know, I kind of expected it because if you see me in real life, now I'm like almost six foot tall. 
<laughs> and when I started when I started filming, I was like five foot five, five foot six. So I mean, eventually they had to kill me off. I was going a little bit too much for the show. But um, yeah, I mean, I kind of take it as kind of like blessing in disguise because now I'm able to go on to other projects and you know this kind of boosted me off and you know it's 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 nice you know. Oh yeah, no, it was definitely definitely a nice role. And like I said, I mean. Yeah. Really enjoyed your character the, these these two seasons. I was happy that we we got to get you back. I definitely want to talk about you know filming episode eight in particular, like your last official like full kind of link like episode. How are you filming or how are you feeling going into that episode? You know, knowing that was your last major episode of the show. What was kind of your feelings going in? A little bit nervous because it's, it's my big scene. You know, it's Javi's death scene and. I wanted to make it as best as I could. So I was a little bit nervous, but at the same time, I was super excited because, I, you know, it's a big scene. You know, I'm really excited and I want to make it great. And just uh, just having a lot of because I've been filming Yellow Jackets for how many years now? Like two, three years. So knowing that that's going to be my last, last episode, I was a little bit nervous, a little bit sad, but also really excited. Yeah. I mean, if you had to, if, unfortunately, like if your character had to go out, I mean, that was episode eight probably definitely one of the craziest episodes of the yeah. season for sure. And probably like one of my favorite episodes of the the show so far up to this point. So, I mean, if you had to go out, at least Javi went out with a bang. So, you know, exactly. you definitely had a nice, you know, scene to kind of like end things. Mm -hmm. Was there any, like, I'm curious, was there any kind of send off or any kind of like, you know, goodbye for you where that was like your last major episode filming for the series? We had a death party afterwards where I lived. So that was a lot of fun. And, uh, the whole cast and crew, they're so, so kind and so awesome. You know, they had like, I had to have like a little speech in front of everybody. <laughs> it was, it, it was really cool. And, you know, I love everybody that, that works there, of the cast and crew. You know, it was, it was great. Good so times. What goes, tell me like what, you don't have to go into like every detail, but like what goes into a, a death party? Because I imagine like this is probably not the first time that they had one on yeah. the show. What goes into like a death party for like when a character is getting sent off? Uh, well, I mean, it's just, we already know everybody in the crew and the cast. So like, it's like, it's, it's just kind of like friends hanging out at that point. And it's just, it's really cool. A lot of karaoke and just, <laughs> just fun, just fun times. You know? Yeah. Just hanging out with each other. Yeah. Cool, cool. So what was, um, you know, as far as like filming that episode, like you said, you had that, that big scene with Javi's death. What was mm -hmm. the most challenging aspect of filming that episode for you? Um... I'd be lying if I said that I had like a really challenging part. Obviously, I'm really attached to Javi as a character and I didn't want to let him go. But at the same time, I was just I was really happy to do the scene, excited. So like there was nothing that was like kind of like like challenging me. I'd say like the cuts on my fingers that I got was pretty it kind of <laughs> hurt. Because like the um, the wax of like the ice is not real ice. So it's like kind of like wax and it's kind of pokey a little bit. So when I fall down, I, like try to grab onto something, then kind of cuts me a little bit. But that's about it. I had just a great time. And oh, you know what I did have to do? I had to go to the aquatic center, like a public aquatic center with yep. like my Javi costume on and had to like rehearse the, the drowning scenes in front of everybody. And <laughs> uh, it was a little bit, it's a, definitely a first time. And it, it was interesting. I got a lot of weird looks from people. Oh, yeah. No, I'm <laughs> and, sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. What was the um? I mean, just like that, that whole the ending of that episode, the whole the whole chase scene, just paired with the uh, the music from the Smashing Pumpkins. Like, obviously, that wasn't in there initially, probably when you guys were like filming it, but that getting added in there and you guys running through as soon as you got on the ice, and I just like, and then you saw the ice start to crack, and I was like, oh no, no, like because I knew that Natalie wasn't going to die, obviously at that point, just because yeah. her character was still alive yeah. in the present day. So I was like, well, I know she's not going to get killed off. So what's going to happen here? And then, yeah, I mean, that, yeah, what a, what a crazy ending, man. Um, So even though Javi's gone now, and obviously we got to see him pop back up in, uh, in the finale, which was nice. So even though he's gone, how do you think his presence will be felt moving forward in the 90s timeline? I definitely think he's going to be in the heads of some of the, of the, the, the guys and definitely in Travis's head. You know, I imagine like now he's kind of he's kind of going through it, and I probably probably a little bit of a couple flashbacks maybe, and I'd be in his head. He probably sees me as like hallucination maybe, kind of just grasping at straws at this point. But you know, 
anything, I mean, anything can happen, you know, oh, yeah. seeing the show, like, it's just, it's crazy. So like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if my character does come back in a big or small way, either way, would not be surprised. Fingers crossed, man. Hey, we got to see uh, Laura Lee come back a couple times yeah. you know, in the season as like hallucinations, flashbacks, you know, kind of things. So, and we got to see you in the finale as like that, that vision, you know, kind of, we got at that last episode. So yeah, I definitely think it's more than possible that you could come back in future seasons. And I think not only Travis, but I think uh, Natalie too, just with, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, where she kind of had to just sit there and she didn't do anything to, you know, she tried initially to save you, but then, when she found out that if she did save you, that they would have went after her. So I think her, like those two characters, probably the most will have like the biggest repercussions as far as like your character goes. But um, I, I I was happy to see that we, so we did get to see you in the finale. I was like, oh, cool. We get another scene. Like, yeah. you. can you talk about filming that scene? I know it was like, it was brief, um, but can you talk about filming that scene with Juliette Lewis? Just because you're one of the only younger members of the cast to actually get to, film a scene and interact with the adult versions of the cast. So what was that like? She's awesome. Like she's such a great actor. It's, it's crazy. She can just like flip this, the, the, the switch like that on actor mode. And it's just, it's, it, it's insane. Like dude, we can just be joking around then boom. Uh, it's like rolling. And then she gets into the zone immediately. It's crazy. And she's also just such a kind person. Like seriously, she's, she's such a cool person. And, uh, I, mean, I haven't seen any of her movies. Well, I've seen a couple, but my dad, especially, because he's older than me, so yeah. he's seen a lot of her movies, and it's kind of cool to like meet her, and because he's a he's a fan of her, so yeah. you know, it's it, it's cool, and and yeah, it's nice. Yeah, like, hey, dad, yeah, I got to work with you know Juliet Lewis. Nobody yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure, yeah, he definitely like uh, appreciated that. Mm-hmm. As far as now, so let's say because I know this kind of ties into like a theory at one point that was going for the show. There was the theories that obviously Javi was Adam. Like at one point, that was like a big theory for the show. Mm-hmm. So now that we know that that wasn't the case, if Javi could have survived, have you thought about who would you would have possibly wanted to play an older version of you? That's a really good question, actually. <laughs> um, I have to think about that, but I think honestly, I could probably play my older self if I'm yeah. being honest. Like if if like. Three more years, I'm gonna be like what, 18, 19? So I, if I grow a beard, I'll be I'll be set, you know. <laughs> there you, you go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, mm-hmm. uh, one of the other things, so in the show, uh Natalie and Javi, they end up kind of developing a little bit of like a, a friendship there. Why like why do you think those two have that connection initially? I mean, I know like obviously you have her and Travis's relationship. Do you think it's because of that? Or do you think there was something else there that kind of sparked that relationship, that friendship with them? I feel like when Javi got back, he could kind of like sense like the people, like the good hearted people, you know, Natalie, like throughout the entire series has been such like young Natalie has been like really a kind person. And I feel like Javi saw the innocence in her and was like, you know, this person's cool. I want to hang out with him. And also you can see in some scenes that he's sleeping in uh, Ben's room. And cause well, he knows that Ben is, is a trustable guy. He, he thinks he's cool. He wants to hang out with him. So like, I feel like he kind of like he guess he chooses and he he knows he knows like the good people. That's a good good point to to point out actually. Now that you're saying that, I didn't even I wouldn't even have thought of those things watching the scenes just initially. But now that you say that, it's like yeah, he did sleep in his room. Could have slept with like with everybody yeah. else, but he didn't. So yeah, I mean, especially with you see what happens with this season with what kind of happens with the the rest of the yellow jackets crew and what some of them you know do to survive um but that's that's an yeah. interesting little tidbit there and can you just talk about working with uh sophie thatcher and just like where you had a number of scenes with her uh, in the series yeah we had a couple of scenes that got cut out actually but those scenes you can see kind of like the friendship building between javi and uh young natalie but as an actor uh herself she's she's also amazing she's really great and she's also, you know, a really nice person, really, really cool, very funny. <laughs> and uh, it's great to work with her. She's definitely one of the better actors I've worked with and it's been great. What were, um, like you said, there was like a couple scenes that like got cut. Do you, like, do you remember any of them specifically that were they just like her and you kind of just like hanging out or was there anything that like happened in them that you're allowed to say, I guess, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking about that right now. I'm allowed to say. Um, if not, I'm no probably... Worries. Yeah, I'm probably not. I don't want to get in trouble. 
No, no so, worries. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, but I actually, so I just got to see, I don't know if you've had a chance to watch it yet. I just got a, a chance to watch uh, the boogeyman with uh, Sophie in there. And yeah. yeah, I mean, she, she's fantastic. I definitely can. She was, um, not like, was it last year, the year before she was in the book of uh, Boba Fett as well. Yeah. So it's definitely nice to see her, you know, getting some of these like other roles as well. She's a, a great actress. So I can't wait to see. Yeah. And she's incredibly, stuff. she's incredibly versatile. She's, she's amazing. Yeah, for sure. I also want to talk about Kevin Alves, obviously where you guys play brothers on the show. Um, yeah. Can you just talk about, and you know, I've had him on here before. Can you talk about working with him and kind of how your guys friendship and relationship has evolved, you know, over seasons one and then season two? Mm -hmm. Well, we had a couple of scenes in like the first couple of episodes of season one. I think uh, we, we didn't really like bond that much, but when he, we went back to the scene where Travis was kind of like holding Javi in the headlock and took the gun and threw it away. I think that's where we started bonding a little bit more. And as one of the three guys on the set, you know, we kind of ha had kind of had somebody to rely on and <laughs> talk to during those those long, long days of shooting. And yeah, so I would just kind of hit it off and just, you know, now we're, we're really cool and I consider him family now. So yeah, as I said, yeah. do you guys do you almost feel like brothers, you know, even yeah, though you're not on the show like anymore? Yeah, for sure. We're he went out when he's in Vancouver, he visits us and I visit them when, when I was in California, went to Disneyland and just incredible times with him. Yeah. I mean, you know, just from, from talking to him on here, um, I mean, great guy, like overall. So that's cool that, you know, you guys kind of had that, you know, bond like with each other, not only on the show, but off, you know, behind the scenes, like as well. Yeah. So looking back on these two, on the two seasons that you got to work on, um, what have been some of your favorite episodes slash scenes to film? Like, do you have any that particularly like jump out to your mind right away? Definitely my death scene. Uh, that one <laughs> definitely was one of my favorites. Like I said, I had a lot of fun filming it. It was very exciting. Um, that's one of the scenes. Also, another scene was uh, when I was when Travis had me in the headlock. That was pretty fun as well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, those two scenes, to be honest, Javi hasn't really had nothing like, like super big until kind of like the end of season two. So that's where like some of the stuff that, that I really liked doing was there. Also the scene where they found me where I was running away. That was fun. Cause I got to run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Hey, those are my favorite scenes. Yeah. No, no, that was, I'll say that was a pretty cool one. Like once that was happening, I was like. I, I wasn't sure at first who it was. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as they said it's Javi, it's like, oh, like, you know, yeah. so cool to finally have you back. Mm -hmm. Now, um, any, do you have any other just like favorite memories just as far as just like even hanging out with the cast in general? Is there any memories from you guys, whether it's like on set or even just like offset? Do you have any favorite memories that come to mind with them? Yeah, the rap parties, the death party was really fun as well. <laughs> Having Ella on set was really fun as well. Ella, she was in season one. I didn't get to uh, see her in season two though, because I wasn't in the same scenes as her. But season one, she was she was really cool. She was like an older sister to me. It's, it was really fun. That's a fun times and yeah, yeah. Ella was definitely that was one of those deaths where it's like I, I personally because I know there are some people that you know when season one was happening they're like oh like I don't know about Jackie but. Mm. I, I personally, I loved her. And so like when she died in the finale, I was like, oh, and I like, I definitely felt her loss, you know, like this season. It was cool though, that we did get to see her for a couple episodes with the, the like hallucinations when Shauna was talking to her. So again, that was nice. That's one of the things with the show that even if we lose a character, they might not necessarily be totally gone because mm -hmm. hallucinations, visions, yeah. whatever could always pop back up. Now, did you, cause I know we were talking about like your death scene did yeah. you get a chance? Because I know technically, and, and I know if I get this wrong, people are probably going to have my head. But <laughs> um, did you get a chance to see like the um, like your fake body? Like so like when they're cutting you up, because that was an episode, I think, like the finale technically. But did you get to see like that, like it all done up or anything? I saw the body, like the fake mannequin body. The one that they like they pulled out the water. That was yeah. actually me. Uh, <laughs> It was kind of creepy, really, because like it looks really similar to me. So I was like, "Yeah, I took a couple of pictures with it." <laughs> cool, but I don't. It, it's it's definitely creepy. My family were like, "Ew, no," because like I was all frozen, bloodied up. Nah. It wasn't. It wasn't nice. 
but I did get to see it and I did get to I was I was the one laying on the table though when they were like cutting me up I was like laying down that was okay. me yeah uh, so, but I didn't I didn't see anything other than that though gotcha okay cool yeah I was, I was curious because whenever you know for other shows movies and stuff like that whenever you have that happen where a character dies it's always interesting it's like if you get to see the the fake body done up or anything like that must be so like you said so weird yeah to see like you like laying there even though it's you know it's a dummy or whatever but it must be kind of yeah. surreal to be like in that moment so yeah so I, was, I was definitely curious about that no so he's been javi's been involved in a number of theories obviously more so like season one you know until we kind of got him back in season two yeah. there was uh the bear that when yeah. he killed the bear that everyone thought that was javi yeah um, and i was like there was even you know, at one point that i kind of like bought into that a little bit and i was like <laughs> oh, i mean it could be um then i mean there's the whole thing with like adam um what have been some of your favorite theories surrounding javi like on the show i think the bear one was probably my favorite because like our, i i didn't know that i was coming back but i i knew that i wasn't the bear so yeah. i was just uh, <laughs> I just found it more funny more than anything that Javi was the bear. I'm pretty sure if he was the bear, Travis would have realized it. And I'm pretty sure he would have done something about it. So I don't know about the whole the bear bear thing was kind of funny. And the Adam, the Adam was the Adam theory was also kind of cool as well. But those two were probably my favorite. Yeah, those are I'd say those are probably the most like the the most popular ones, I would say, like on the show where people were just like, you know, convinced that you were yeah either one of those characters and i and i thought i actually i don't know if it was like an interview with you on someone else's like show or whatever but was there at one point that you were or like there was like you were that javi was going to be adam was that like true at one point and then they decided to like not do that <laughs> I can't uh um definitely most possibly possible yes okay yeah yeah we'll go oh, with yeah. that yeah yeah it, it it's very very possible they're hinting a lot at it definitely because yeah. javi was kind of like an artsy kind of guy he drew a lot of pictures you see in season yep. two he drew like the um, stuff and he made like a little wolf as well so you can see you can connect the dots adam javi between, yeah. yeah between the two of them yeah yeah for sure but yeah no i, I just saying that because like i, I could have swore it was like some other interview and it, maybe it wasn't with you maybe it was like someone else but like someone said that the writers like had considered it, but then they mm -hmm. decided like not to go, you know, that route for whatever reason. So I yeah. was just, yeah, I was just curious if that was the case. So we never really, we never really saw any of Javi's backstory other than like the brief little time before the getting on the plane and stuff like that. As an actor, did you kind of come up with any backstory for him yourself? That's a good question. No, I didn't. But now that I think about it, he, I could probably make up some like really like, whack backstory about Javi. Um, but no, I haven't made up any kind of like backstories or anything about him. More than like, I don't think Javi had great grades. I think he was kind of like <laughs> the kind of kid that would skip school, honestly. Okay. I don't know. He's probably good at sports as well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I was curious because like sometimes I know some actors will do that. They'll go in and kind of mm. like give their characters a backstory, fill in the blanks. But then sometimes people don't. They just want to kind of like go in fresh. And just go from there. Uh, so if this group of people got stranded out in the wilderness, and I asked this to uh, the, a couple other uh, cast members as well, who from the cast do you think would be best equipped to handle that and, and why? I'd say either Kevin, uh, Steven, or uh, honestly, Jasmine. Too. Jasmine. Those three. Those three, yeah. And surprisingly, Sammy, I think, as well. Even even though she plays like the crazy Misty, but she should probably be good in those type of situations as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got cool. a couple of like similar like answers with some of the other guests that we've had on. So so that's yeah. that's kind of funny. Now, you know, for yourself, Luciano, you're out there in the wilderness as yourself, not as your character. Uh, mm -hmm. with the Yellow Jackets characters. Who do you think that you would most likely connect with and why? Mm, probably I feel like Travis was kind of it's kind of like he's a bit uh like disassociated. I don't think I'd really mess with him. Um probably Lottie. Even uh, though she's she's kind of crazy, she's the most reasonable, I think. Lottie, Van, and probably Tysa. 
Okay, interesting. Yeah. So, so like not the two people that your character is like on the show. So like complete mm-hmm. like opposite. No, definitely not. Maybe actually Ben Scott as well, probably. Okay, yeah, he's, cool. he's level headed as well. Yeah, no, that's those are some interesting choices. Now, mm-hmm. uh, you know, music. Uh, one of the most like important things I think like on the show. Just some like great songs on there. Now, uh, what would you say that Javi's playlist would have looked like? You know, is there any particular artist or songs that he would have listened to? And then did you have any songs for yourself when you were going to and from like working on the set? Did you have a playlist that you listened to at all? No, I, I didn't have a playlist. I listened to my like my regular music that I listen to like on a day to day basis. Yeah. Nothing like specific for like Javi and acting. I would say Javi would listen to like some rock, a lot of rock. Like kind of like the trendy music of that time i don't know the trendy music because I, I wasn't born at that time so <laughs> i don't know but i feel like he, he would kind of go with the flow maybe a little uh because i know like uh, one of my favorite music scenes i think in the season was uh with the jeff scene where he starts jamming yeah. to, to yeah. papa roach yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe a little well, papa roach i love that scene that's like my second favorite scene in the entire entire <laughs> show such a mm-hmm. i was i was hyped because growing up like i i was growing up like when that record came out and so like when that when that song came on, I was just like, what? So that yeah. that was really cool. So maybe some like heavier kind of rock kind of stuff like that, you think? Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Luciana, is there anything else that as far as just like that you would just, just like to say about, you know, working on the show or anything that you would like to, to say to the fans to kind of wrap things up? Uh, thanks for watching the show this far. You know, it, it's been it's been a great ride. It's been my biggest show I've done so far and I've learned so much and I hope you guys will be sticking around to watch the rest of the show because it's a really good show. And also to maybe see me in future projects. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks for everything. And where can, where can fans actually, you know, keep up with like your future projects? I know you're on like Instagram, right? I don't know if you have any other social media. Just Insta for now. Yeah. Instagram. And is that, is yeah. it just, uh, just your like first and last name, like your handle? Yeah. I think it's LaRue Luciano. It's like reverse. LaRue Luciano. Yeah. Okay. Either LaRue Luciano or Luciano LaRue. Either you'll probably find it anyways. Yeah. So it should pop up probably like if, if you type in like one or the other. So yeah. Cool. Well, thank you again, man, so much. It was great having you on just, you know, talking about like, you know, a little bit about your acting career and then talking about yeah. all things yellow jackets. Uh, you know, really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule and, and you're welcome back anytime in the future, man. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, it's the channel. I play Javi and yellow jackets and you're watching pop culture with Pat buzz buzz.